Hello everyone, in this video we're going to be starting Sino Gym Mode 7, but this time this is a different release by a person called Psycho Game uh, on XDA Developers. He uses his, his own custom kernel for this and his own developed Sino Gym Mode 7 for the Galaxy Y. So uh, this one actually has Bluetooth party refixed and he claims that upon each release he's uh, getting more and more progress on fixing it. So hopefully we will get a working Bluetooth on the Sino Gym Mode 7. So anyways, uh, I'm going to show you an installation guide of this ROM as well as a quick review after it is installed to see what is working or what is not and so on and on. So uh, before everything I would recommend that you first download the zip file to your SD card and then flash his custom kernel because it is possible that it may cause you to be stuck on the Samsung Galaxy Y logo and you can go further so uh, be sure to have your be sure to have your uh, uh, Sino Gem Mode 7 zip file on your SD card and then flash the custom kernel. Uh, after you flash the custom kernel, you, you boot into recovery mode. Uh, by the way, if you, don't know how, if you don't know how to install his custom kernel, I have made a text guide on how to do it. It's pretty simple, you use Odin. So yeah, anyways, once you have done everything now, uh, hold the three buttons and boot into recovery mode. Volume up, home button and the power button. Okay, uh, this kernel, uh, this Quokor mode recovery, as you can see, has smaller text, but it looks good actually. Anyways, now before everything, let's head to mounts and storage, and we're going to format absolutely everything we can. Starting off with formatting data. Choose yes. Format system. You do not need to format your SD card by the way, there is no need for it. Format system and format cache. Choose that. Choose yes. And ok, everything is formatted. Now, go back and uh, now you basically choose install zip from SD card. Choose zip from SD card and now Locate the Sino Gem Mode zip file. Here it is. This is Alpha 4 build, uh, fourth release of Sino Gem Mode 7. This is what I'm currently showing you. So choose yes. And basically, now wait for the installation to be complete. I'll be back once it is done and we'll reboot the phone. Uh, but before that, actually, we need to wipe uh, data and cache and then we'll reboot the phone. So, anyways, I'll be back once it says that the installation is complete. Ok, as you can see, install from SD card complete. Now go back, like I said, and do a wipe data. Then wipe cache partition. Clean absolutely everything. And now, finally, we choose the first option, reboot system now. Now the first boot may take a while which is pretty uh, which happens pretty often on pretty much any ROM you flash so just be patient and um, I'll be back once the phone has booted up and okay the phone has started up as you can see now he also mentioned that you might need to flash G apps because there is no Google Play Store in here as you can see so we are unable to download apps and test stuff such as the Play Store, Gmail and download any other apps you want. So anyways, um, this is what we get. The usual, you you should be familiar with this because if you have seen my older videos of Sound Gym Mode 7. So okay, let's have a look at some of the features. For instance, let's quickly test the Wi-Fi. I currently do not have, um, I haven't paid my taxes so I don't have any mobile networks enabled now. Uh, but we can test the Wi-Fi. Some kind of flickering glitches just appeared now. He mentioned that there are display bugs, unfortunately. So okay, um, the Wi-Fi managed to start up. Let me just see if it will connect. Just type in my password. 
Let's try to connect now. Okay, so it is connected and uh, as you can see the transitions and everything is very smooth when you uh, enter from one menu to another for instance from settings as you can see everything is working fine except some kind of flickering glitches sometimes there we go it just disappeared again quite weird but it is working can seem to okay never mind um okay wireless is working so this is confirmed let's have a look at bluetooth so he claims that it can be turned on and everything else uh, i believe it can also scan for other bluetooth devices but establishing a connection doesn't seem to work meaning that you can't transfer any files in between two devices so hopefully he will fix that pretty soon and uh as for the uh, games and apps working i'm gonna have to I installed GFs to download some apps to test them so okay we're going to do that I'm going to give you a link for GFs as well and we are now about to install GFs and then try out uh, some apps from the Google Play Store and we'll see if they're working okay so I'm back with the GFs the zip file is on my SD card so I'm going to reboot the phone into recovery mode and we are going to flash the zip file Simply choose install zip from SD card, then choose zip from SD card and locate the gapps zip file. Here it is. Choose it, then select yes when asked. It should be done within seconds. There we go, it is completed. And finally, choose reboot system now. Okay, so we also saw that this ROM does not have a boot animation currently, no sound or anything of the sort. Basically from the Samsung Galaxy Y logo to the home screen. Anyways, now let us unlock it and there we go. We have the setup screen now. Everything we need is here. So let's just keep these. Okay, the Google search widget seems to have a problem loading. This could be caused because um, it probably got replaced by the GF's widget. Search, oh, okay. There we go, we have it back anyways. Let's, let's leave this now. Um, let's have a look if media scanning is fixed. But I'm pretty sure he said it isn't, but well, um, I can't really test at the moment, uh, songs are here but you can check that out for yourself and of course for more specifications and many more information please visit the link in the video description because I can't really explain everything in the video here basically I'm showing you a quick demo anyways now let's get, let's get back to, on topic um, let's also try uh, calling, let's see if a person could call me or I could call him so I currently cannot call but they can call me so I'm going to do a test about that. And okay, as you can see, it is working. For some reason though, it cannot read the save names on my SIM card as you can see. Uh, well, we cannot see but it is displaying the phone number instead of the name. That's quite weird actually. In fact, pretty weird but at least calling works. And uh, 
okay now as I promised once I have the G apps installed we're gonna visit the market so I'm going to add my Google account now and I'll be back once I set up everything okay I'm here now as you can see let's give it a try at an app for example with the app pool let's see if it will manage to to start up this app and be able to play it or it will just force close like in the previous Sanok G mode 7 built by YXP and okay I'm also going to leave Angry Birds to be downloading and installing in the meantime we're gonna have a look at pool let's see if it will run I have currently installed it now let's have a look if the app will force close okay um, it got a little mixed up here graphical glitches well this is impressive as you can see the app is running without any problems it seems to be working um, okay pool is working in YXP's release this app would force close but here it seems to be working just fine it, it would barely last 5 or 6 seconds but here so far it's going good I'm accessing stuff as you can see clicking on buttons is working and everything else okay this app is surely working now let's have a look at Angry Birds a little more heavy, a heavier game let's just see if it will be working mm. it could just be okay so the play store just I believe it just updated itself anyways uh, I'll be back once Angry Birds is downloaded and installed and we'll have it running and we just successfully installed it so okay let's run the app after this we're gonna have a look at the YouTube app and we'll see if we are able to watch videos using this Sano Gem 7 version so anyways so far the game has started so this loading part here takes a while so I'm going to speed up the video and I'll be back once we're in the main menu okay um, music and uh, it seems to wag a bit when I scroll through the uh, chapters here you can feel it by the sound but let's have a look if levels are playable so we'll see so far it seems good now let's have a look if it is able to be played ok as you can see it is working So far it seems playable and there doesn't seem to be any lag as you can see I am quickly uh, scrolling through levels and everything seems to be working just fine So ok Angry Birds is working even though we have ads as you can see it still doesn't slow down the, pro the uh, performance So yeah this, this is good this seems good anyways uh, let's have a look at the youtube app now i have just installed it and uh, let's see if we are able to play videos so let's open up the youtube app okay sorry about that okay so let's give it a try at watching this HD video by Andreessen for example this is a game review video he shoots them in HD in HD quality so I'm just going to enable the uh, high quality option here and let's see how it performs please note that my internet connection is quite slow from here because I'm not near my router so um, it may stop from time to time Okay, so there doesn't seem to be any picture as you can see 
and uh, the, this, the screen just started to glitch um, okay so this doesn't seem to be quite capable of watching YouTube videos at least with high quality on I just turned it off now let's have a look okay um, here it can watch them that's very good at least it can watch them but the idea is things work slightly differently. Okay, very um, nice. Let's see the captions. And those boosts are powered up by they appear as well. Okay, it's functioning quite well. The app is functioning. So this ends our video I suppose. Um the rest you see here are the basic Sanog Mode 7 apps which you should be familiar with. Here we've got a team chooser. It has only one team. As you can see one of one. Should be enough. Uh, the green is actually good enough. At least that's what I think. Anyways, uh, this release seems to be very good. I mean, he claims that GPS is working as well. So, uh, Bluetooth is on its way to be fixed, as you can, as I've mentioned earlier. He is partially fixing it part by part upon each release. Hopefully, we get it working. And uh, it looks like Sound Gem Mode 7 is near completion. Hopefully, we will soon be getting a stable Sound Gem Mode 7. Whether it is from YXP or Psycho Game, doesn't really matter. Hopefully, uh. The developers will progress a bit more and we'll have a working sound gym mode 7. So this ends our video. I have just showed you how to install this and I have showed you a quick review of how to play it, uh, how to use uh, what it contains, sorry, of uh, what works and what, what doesn't work. So the rest of the features you can check out for yourself, just messaging um, and some other stuff. Just to show you, internet browsing works as well. You can visit websites. And finally, let's have a look at the the awesome CRT animation. Let's turn off the display. Okay, very good. And that is all. Thank you for watching and please subscribe if you want to see more videos. Thank you for watching and goodbye.